After the device is turned on, connect the measurement microphone bundled with your device to the device itself or to your computer. We will sign into our Dirac account in order to retrieve any purchased licenses. From there, I'll select the device that I want to calibrate. This puts the device into measurement mode. Then, I'll select the microphone attached to the device that we just selected. It is important that you place the microphone in your usual listening position for the first measurement. This is the most important position for measurement. We'll need to gradually increase the volume of the measurement tones until they reach approximately our normal listening volume. Be careful with master output. This corresponds to device volume, and moving the slider to the top is the same as turning the volume knob all the way up. Dirac Live offers different listening arrangements optimized for rooms of different sizes and configurations. Since we're on a couch, we'll select the wide imaging arrangement. You can use this timer to set a delay, giving you time to leave the room. With the mic in the first position, we'll run our first measurement, which is the most important one. The first measurement decides gain and delay for all speakers. Because the wide imaging arrangement for our couch consists of 17 measurement points, we'll be moving around a lot. This ensures the best possible correction for our space. We're using the on-screen position indicators to give us a guideline of where to place the microphone next. The Rack Live automatically applies a default correction filter to minimize your room impact and enhance your speaker sound by correcting the frequency and impulse response of the sound system. If you just want fast optimization without further adjustments, you can skip ahead to filter export and the listening test. If you are interested in designing your own signature sound, you can customize the correction filter. By dragging points on the target curve, we can achieve the frequency response we want, emphasizing things like bass or mid-range. Now that our target curve is designed, we can send the correction filter to the device over Wi-Fi. We do this by exporting the filter in Dirac Live. Once the bar reaches 100%, the filter is now available on your device and Dirac Live Room Correction is active in your space. We can turn off our computer now and just enjoy the optimized sound. Try adjusting the active filter inside your device firmware for an on-off comparison. This is a great chance to feel out whether you want more or less of a certain frequency and then export a new filter with those considerations.